man, I've never been more excited to like get out and tour. The idea of like getting out and play these whole batch of songs to people that have come to like see us play, you know, and you know had to see the same songs a lot of times. <laughs> The sound of this record was very much this this beast that we'd been talking about for a long time. The really bright and jangly, very immediate sound. Shade and I have a real straightforward way of understanding each other musically. It's very much where the other can complete the other person's sentence. I mean, that's such an insanely rare thing. I mean, you know, we're not without conflict within each other. When it comes to actually working and making the songs happen, and writing the songs and collaborating musically and creatively, artistically, there's like a harmony that we have. Every, every tonal aspect of this is what I knew he wanted to make and I wanted to make. I think we just have a lot of um, similar uh, taste and inspiration. But it's never that overt. song just see, ha, seems to happen whoever's in the room or whoever's around you know the song gets done written the second thought to have is like how are we going to record it to best serve the song or melody we had a group of songs set, up, set aside we ended up recording It does seem like it's kind of... Do you mind muting that when it happens? Yeah, no, no. Awesome. So let's let's bounce those two tracks. The only other thing I was going to say, too, is uh, the marimba. I love the extra line at the end. At right? the end? What do you mean? At the, you know, at the full riff. You know, that. It's great at the end. I felt like it was gelling really well. We worked really fast. They're perfect in the end because all this stuff's happening. They're, 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 they're so apparent. Cutting up the last half of the part. I'll show you the place. I know what you mean. Oh, okay. First, then you stop. Oh, okay. It's like... You guys want to try it? Just run it a few times and try a couple different things. Let's see. I'll just keep playing that part. Alright, got it. Phil was good because he was very easy to... To, to hear him out, and if we just had to stop rolling the tape, you know, you didn't second guess, you know, yourself too much. It's so enthusiastic about the song Escapes. Every time I'd finish a guitar tape, fuck yeah, keep you like, let's do that in yeah. stereo. I wish we could double that whole track. <laughs> so we can do that actually. If you double that last track, mm -hmm. and then you do a third track, which is the riff, mm -hmm. or the synthesizer. Well, what about the synth? And the synth. We'll have room for all of it because awesome. I, actually, let's, let's put that yeah. through a yeah. through a yeah. phaser yeah. pedal yeah. and yeah. reamp it, re it. Let's do it. Yeah.
that was, that fun. was fun. I got the I got good, good vibes, vibes going, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. High energy, flow with the wisdom. Since I'm a rich man, knowledge in the rhythm. A good engineer facilitates an inspired performance because of his demeanor. I think because of that, Shade and I were able to knock out most of this stuff like in a couple takes. I think because of it, it's called me the mirror. Phil would just call a spade a spade. Can we do that again? Yep. Wow. Then was a good take. Great. If it wasn't, it wasn't, and you would just let you know there was. It was without judgment. Something where we knew we were in new territory with execution or so. And the only story behind it is he played it for me at my house. He grabbed my guitar and he's like, check this out. And I was like, that's that's it. That's it. That's the one. There's a very almost no drums on it too. It's strange that that's my favorite, but it is. <laughs> actually on the drum she played the executioner's song on her drum who made her sleep so that was kind of cool like you could drop out until this one little part all across the desert falling down Tons of 
another one I'm not entirely on board with that song, but the last time we played it in Big Sur at the Woods' Fest, I really got into it for the first time. I was like, yeah, it's kind of cool. Foolish Person is the is the song that I really had to fight for to get on the album. It's maybe the oldest song that we've had kicking around Do in the band. Yeah, because you know the one. Yeah. yeah. Tim and Shades are demoing songs. I uh, jumped in and that, that was one of them and I've, I've held on to it for a while. And I think having Julian around as we were recording like was very much like help level the playing field. You know, a lot of egos get checked and I don't wanna be a fool anymore. What I wanna take is in the world. No, I would never wanna take sides. You know, you can't take yourself that seriously, you know, or as a kid. Yeah, that makes a sense. Harmony, yeah. like on the chorus type of deal, or, you know, the octave, whatever it is. The octave, yeah. Yeah. But then right. on the, if you can just nail a verse to go high and low and... I'll try know. it. If so, I can't get it right now, we'll just move on. The, this is the hardest one to start with. I know. <laughs> it's like a well, my voice lazy is, song My voice is a little warmer now. Yeah. I don't want to be a fool anymore. It's an old song. I'm not gonna lie. It's old. I've done three different versions of that before this room. It's not an easy song. It's it's, it's a odd arrangement. There's a lot of space, and then it gets really dense and heavy. And uh, it's not obvious on the first listen. Uh, it's it's certainly the one on repeat listens that like grabs you. It ended up really, really dynamic and really, really cool keyboard parts. It's, it's one of those ear, like, headphone things. You know that I have been a fool, been a fool of a The whole reason I started playing music when I was a teenager, I was sitting there and, like, listening to, to records, you know, and I'd put the speakers, like, on each side of my head. So it's totally, like, stereo, you know? And I'd lay there at night, and I, my whole, the whole feeling of wanting to play music came from wanting to be inside of those speakers. You me a fool once. You lied. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You're over the line. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm a foolish person. psychedelic guitar ending road romp was uh, I just knew it needed that sometimes a, a record can get to uh, song to song and to the A to B three minute verse chorus uh, though I love those those kinds of records too but I just knew this needed uh, something else that would breathe and create some sort of like tension of our live shows <laughs> Open 
the end is coming, but also that we're not wasting time. We're really, we really built to that point. It's one of the songs where I can get lost in entirely in, in, the, uh, in the sprawl of it. So um, yeah, I like to have, have that happen.